Oh! Greetings Wanderer, this is Atlas here and today I'm going to be breaking down a song called Reincarnation I'll Face Myself Battle Theme from the Persona 4 original soundtrack. This is a coffee personal request from Ellen Gale, so thank you very much Ellen Gale for your request and of course your incredible support. And... Boom! Alright, we're starting with a piano section. Adding some string layers. A layer of strings, apologies. <laughs> what? That was a crazy change. But I dig it. <laughs> and then he changed to the piano piece. What the hell? Oh, it's like a saxophone layer with the strings. Oh, listen to that riff. <laughs> Ugh. That was awesome. I didn't come back to the piano piece. Okay. I am. I mean, I'm enjoying this too much for my own good. I think. These transitions are crazy. It has like three or four layers playing the melody. <laughs> Listen to the synthesizers. <laughs> Great vibrato.
That's a woodwind instrument, but what is it? That's an interesting resolution. All right, so let's break it down. All right, so one of the things that I would like to mention about this track is that it's a, it's a little bit of a puzzle for me because the only, I mean, I, I don't really have any frame of reference to where this is playing in the video game and whatnot, but it, the, the title of the track says battle, so if this is a battle theme, I think that the song might be implemented in the game in a dynamic way, in an adaptive way, meaning that certain parts of a song are going to play while you, all in, you are in battle and uh, other sections of the song are going to be playing while you're out of battle. Or maybe there's a cinematic in between or something like that, because you can hear that some of the sections are you know, have a, an, an, a staggering amount of energy compared to the piano sections that we hear, right? Like, for example, the intro, and then that transitions into a way higher, uh, you know, energy section of a track, but then that transitions again into, the, into a piano, for the most part, a piano part, and then it's like a jump in between, in between those things. So I wonder if that's part of, of the dynamic, like, of course, in the, in the soundtrack, you're going to hear all the parts chronologically, let's say, put together to make sense as an arrangement for, for a solo track. But in the game, I wonder if those parts are actually, you know, conveyed depending on what's happening in the battle. That's why it's called adaptive or dynamic uh, music, you know, because it certain parts of the track are playing in different moments and not necessarily in the order they were composed. Now I want to mention some of the general things that I really liked about the song and then we are going to jump into the demonstrations, okay? So, I, I actually forgot how awesome the Persona, mu uh, the Persona music is in general. I've, I've done previous Persona tracks uh, in the past, which I'm going to be leaving in the description of this video. And, you know, they've, in, in this particular song, uh, in a specific, they are fusing so many things together, you know, you have like the piano rock going on, you have the jazz fusion kind of thing, because there's a lot of, of minor seven chords, uh, uh, you know, pr pr progressions along the track, and that gives the, the song that edge of a jazzy kind of sound, you know what I mean? It, it, it brings the song out of the box of being just, you know, a, a chord progressions of in between minor and major chords and it spices it enough to make it have this verge of jazzy fusion kind of thing. And also we have some sort of <laughs> heavy metal parts, you know, with the distorted electric guitar that are actually doing this really hard, um, I mean, for the arrangement, of course, uh, metal riffs rock it's it's they are in between rock and metal you know they they are like jumping back and forth in between those two but i would say that for the most part are they are metal metal riffs so i've 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 noticed that persona does this a lot they like to merge and fuse a lot of different genres in in one single song and i, I i'm guessing that's one of the things that make persona original the, the persona original soundtrack so uh, unique
And not only that, we ha we only have. I I'm not really sure if it's that if if it is a saxophone or not that is introduced into the track. I know there is a brass instrument that is introduced into the song at a certain point, and also a woodwind uh, instrument. But I can't really figure out which are which are exactly because they are layered with other instruments. They are layered with the solo violin and the piano. So with so many layers, it's kind of hard to, to, to figure out which instrument it is exactly. But the no pun intended, the abrasiveness of, of the brass instrument is there. You know, you can hear it, uh, you know, in the mid range. Uh, it's like right there. And also the flute, the, the sweetness of, of it. I, I say it's a flute, but it uh, maybe it's uh, another wood, woodwind instrument. But I'm going to guess that it's some kind of flute. So... The saxophone adds to the jazzy edge, you know, that the song has. And all the other instruments have uh, the edge of a more traditional orchestral song. To finalize my commentary, I just would like to say that I think this song is, you know, sad, it's melancholic. And, uh, you know, the song, the name of the song is Face Myself. So, if I had to make a guess, this is a, some sort of, maybe it's... It, you're facing uh, yourself in the game, in in literally, like there's a doppelganger of you. That maybe it's the worst part of you, and you have to face it, face to face. <laughs> That's that was so lame. But uh, it can either be that, or maybe it's more of a psychological internal struggle. You know, face myself, face my insecurities. Of, you know, face. Uh, maybe I have an identity crisis in the game. The character apologies. So, I'm guessing that it could be something along those lines, you know, facing myself internally, uh, uh, something that is bothering me inside, in my emotions and whatnot. And also, the, the, name, uh, the name of the video game is called Persona, so Persona, personality, maybe it goes along those ways. But I'm, gonna, I'm going to stop shooting bullets to the air because I can just go on forever. So I think I'm going to give this track an A tier. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and share it with your friend. Also, please don't forget to visit my Patreon, my coffee profile and my coffee store in case you want to uh, support my work further and my Teespring merch shop. And of course, ex nihilo, nihil fit.